Hello. Mm -hmm. Today we will uh, discuss about the global exchange of the cloud resources uh, uh, based on the cloud computing because as the name shows that uh, the resources we are going to share it or exchange it globally only it is nothing but the global exchange of the cloud resources. It has been uh, uh, understood. Uh, um, understood how your resources has been uh, uh, globally uh, globally shared we'll try to see how the global exchange of the uh, cloud uh, will be uh, will be done. Uh, see what it is to support a large number of application services and the consumers uh, will have see the infrastructure providers will be uh, limited the, the uh, infrastructure providers. See, for example, you want to you need to provide uh, uh, various types of the services. Uh, all the services may not be available with one. So you will try to uh, we will try to uh, go for the uh, uh, exchange of the global exchanges of the cloud service resources so what we are going to do it now the consumers are in need of various types of the services that has to be uh, that has to be required it uh, but still uh, we are unable to give all the services so few of the data centers will have some services another few of the data centers will have the some other services so we'll have the multiple geographical locations to provide the redundancy and to ensure the reliability so in order to to make this uh, uh, various types of the data centers has been provided or maybe it has been uh, located uh, such that for each and every uh, if it is a global services for all the systems or all the consumers uh, is not possible you are going to have the uh, multiple number of the data centers where you are going to get the service that is nothing but normally you try to call it as a global exchange uh, global exchange exchange uh, uh, resources service here we are going to see that one uh, how a single cloud infrastructure provided how a single infrastructure provided Provider, provider will be able to establish its data centers. We have to establish various types of the data sector and we have to make the various types of the multiple cloud infrastructure service providers can be provided uh, such that uh, where the consumers will have a very good service and will have the very good services. And for, for a specific computer uh, consumers, we'll, we'll try to give a specific uh, uh, resource also will be provided, for a specific resource will be provided, for a specific service also will be uh, provided. Okay, by making you of your uh, internet or web services and all or media hosting also so you uh, to realize all this one cloud bus uh, project at the university of melbourne has proposed inter cloud architecture supporting the brokering and exchange of the cloud services for the uh, scaling this is nothing but the uh, cl cloud architecture, the cloud uh, global exchange of the cloud services architecture. We'll have the broker one, and then the till the broker n in will be there. Try to uh, try to uh, view the diagram properly. We have the various types of the uh, resources that are provided. It is called the enterprise IT, and you will have the public public uh, public offers will be there, and then the computer storage cloud will be there, and then the computer cloud, and then the storage cloud will be there. You have the director bank and then the auctioneer will be there this is a global cloud exchange that means the brokers what they will do it you know, they will take they will take the service from the they will uh, uh, identify the various types of the services uh, that has been provided by the various resource persons and all they will have the list of all this one and they will uh, check it check it out with uh, whomever whether uh, it has to be done in the public offer it has to be done or maybe it has to be done in the form of a uh, private or it has to be done in the form of a host uh, services now if it is a private now you the the consumer will pay will pay the money and the broker will accept that one he will act the mediator between the uh, provider as well as the consumer and he provides for the by the by means of the payment or by means of the some uh, conditions and all if it is for example if it is a hybrid and a few of the few of the data will be provided on demand uh, without uh, uh, without charge 
charging and few of the demands will be few of their services will be provided with charging that is nothing but the intra uh, intra services and then the inter sorry, internet services so within the organization a consumer no need to buy or no need to provide anything uh, provide anything to get the service and all but through the internet the organization will pay to the broker and the broker will in need will pay to the pay, pay to the uh, resource managers and all okay that is the uh, that is about the how the, the for the for all this to do to be done we'll have the exchange of mm, we'll have the exchange we'll have a director and we'll have the bank and then the auditioner will be auctioner will be there so you have the various types of the storages of the clouds that are provided and we have the uh, compute cloud will be provided so the brokers will get the capacity of the resources and they will provide it and they they try to negotiate with the resources persons are as well as they'll try to negotiate with the consumer who are who is in need of or who is in the new world of that one by means of that uh, uh, by means of the dirvan and then the, you will have the various types of the actioners and then the bank because everything will be done in the form of the mou so only uh, for that to maintain that one you will have the where and all uh, the bank where the the uh, network will be uh, done by means of the global exchange of the uh, you are going to provide something to some other uh, to some service you are going to someone else uh, how much the, you are going to get the payment is only by maintained by means of the director or the director and then the bank with some uh, some conditions of the some rules and regulations and only is nothing but what i explained is nothing but only it has been given okay infrastructure as a service has been given you have the uh, you have the software as a service and on demand license as you relieve the customer of the burden and equipping okay this is nothing but software as a, a service you are going to give second one is nothing but the platform as a service and it provides a platform to your application layer to application layer okay it integrates marshalling database integration security scalability storage various types of the this one has been given infrastructure and infrastructure as a service and in the you will have the computer infrastructure these virtual infrastructure stacks are the examples of this one where you will have an evaluation of web hosting and the virtual private servers will be provided thank you